you so much for joining me for today's Just Ask Jane. Today's all about skeptical spirits. And I love this question. Melanie, thank you so much for the most amazing question. And I get asked this, you know, once in a while, but it really hit home because of the way you wrote it. And it says here, Jay, I've always wondered if you're able to connect with spirits of loved ones who did not believe in the afterlife and spirit while they were living in the physical world. My mother-in-law was someone who wouldn't talk about spirits when she was alive. And my husband said she would view it negatively. Now that she's passed, I'd like to know if I'd be able to connect with her someday. Well, Melanie, I'm going to tell you absolutely. I believe that if her spirit is around and if she's not recycled back into this lifetime, that there's a very strong possibility that you'd be able to connect with her. Now, people who do not believe in the afterlife and spirits are certainly entitled, you know, their own belief systems. But I'm going to tell you, I believe that we're conditioned to these types of things. So it depends on our religious beliefs. It depends on our spiritual beliefs. It depends on, you know, basically our cultural beliefs because some cultures do not believe in the afterlife. And I'm going to tell you, if we're conditioned that way, of course, your mother-in-law would have had difficulty speaking about spirit. Perhaps she didn't know enough about it or perhaps Perhaps she was afraid to talk about it because of course some people are so strict when it comes to these types of things you know I could certainly relate to my father you know not really wanting to talk about those types of things because he was always in protection mode um, you know with me trying to protect me you know from other people and knew at a very young age that I was like this but again always denied it and I think it's his way of course of protecting me but the thing is in terms of your mother-in-law I believe that once a person passes there's an instant body to soul transformation and the ego is left behind so now when we die there's no male there's no female to the other side because it's just a really different consciousness if you think about it because there's no body there's no time there's no space there's no judgment there's no hate there's no oh my God, I could go on and on and on. And so if your mother-in-law has not recycled back into this lifetime, then I believe that if you sat with someone, you know, and if her energy was around you, I believe that she would communicate with someone or let you know, that person know that her energy is around with, you know, some of the experiences or memories or feelings that she would share, you know, that the feelings that she would have had while she was still living on this earthly plane. So I think it's very possible that you'd be able to connect. You know, those belief systems that we adopt here while we're learning, um, you know, in this physical plane, on this you know, on this earth, these things are very much learned behaviors. We are conditioned to believe certain things and not believe certain things. But once we cross through to the other side, it's a totally different ball of wax, I'm gonna tell you that. And the thing is, I believe we go back to our original state and I believe that, you know, that consciousness is just, you know, such an amazing place to be. And the thing is, I do believe that our loved ones would communicate with us. I know that my father, you know, his belief systems are very, very strict, but I do communicate, communicate with my father and hear from him quite often, actually, even though, his um, his beliefs were quite rigid. Melanie, I hope that's answered your question. And to everyone out there who had this question, you know, I hope it's helped you a little bit. Um, you know, inside your heart, know that your loved ones would absolutely, you know, try to communicate with you should you see a medium or someone that is able to channel spirits. I want to thank everybody so much for writing in to Just Ask Jade. If you have a burning desire to ask me a question, but you're too afraid to, don't be. Go ahead and get busy in the comment section below and start asking questions. I love you guys all so much. Until next, just ask Jake. We'll see you really soon. Bye-bye.